Hello guys and welcome to Freebird's View. If you know about large language models and prompt engineering, so the topic of five short prompting and chain of thought prompting is also important because these techniques helps the large language model to do specific tasks and can be measured on various benchmark tests as well. The term short is the context of machine learning refers to the number of examples provided during the training. For example, in a few short learning, a model is trained on a small number of examples per class. The number such as five short would indicate that model is trained only on five instances of each class. Both five short prompting and chain of thought prompting are techniques that are used to improve the performance of large language model on specific tasks, but they tackle the problems in a very different different way. So let's see how these two techniques are different from each other. Okay, so on your left side is the five short prompting on your right side is the chain of thought prompting. And the idea behind these two techniques is like that the five short prompting technique provides large language model with a handful of examples of the desired output, demonstrating what you want them to do. But in chain of thought prompting, it encourages the large language model to explicitly break down their reasoning process into steps before providing the final answer. Five short prompting will work like the examples act as the training data within the prompt, guiding the large language model toward generating the similar output for the actual task. But in chain of thought prompting, the prompt instance instruct the large language model to think step by step and articulate its thought process leading to the answer. This reveals the reasoning behind the answer, increasing the transparency and potentially improving the accuracy. Okay, the strength of five short prompting is that it is effective for simple tasks uh, for like uh, text generation, translation, summarization. It is easy to implement and require minimal additional information. But strength of chain of prompting is that it can handle complex tasks requiring logical reasoning and problem solving. It also facilitates understanding the large language model decision making process. Okay. The weakness of five short prompting is limited effectiveness for complex tasks. It requires multi step reasoning, relies heavily on the quality and the relevance of the provided examples. Okay. But the chain of thought prompting weakness is it requires additional effort to craft the effective prompt because you need to like create an effective prompt to make it more reasonable, to make it more logical as well. Okay, so if we start with the five short prompting for straightforward tasks where examples are like already available, this is the best technique that you can use. But if you consider the chain of thought for prompting, it would require only for the complex task that requires the reasoning, that requires the transparency, uh, the large language model process is important. So the te technique can be valuable. Or you can also combine both five short prompting and chain of thought prompting as well for the task require both the specific outputs and reasoning steps. Okay. So when OpenAI's GPT-4 model and Google Gemini model were assessed on the five short prompting, the MMLU test GPT-4 scored 86.4% compared to the Gemini Ultra which is scored 83.7%. And while using the 10 shot Hella Swag, a benchmark measure for the common sense reasoning, GPT-4 scored 95.3% outperforming the Gemini Ultra which scored 87.8% only. Okay, so as of chain of thoughts, it refers to the logical reasoning progression or sequence of steps that an AI model should take to arrive at a particular decision. Okay, so simply put, the journey towards the fully reasonable large language model is still too long. But the techniques like five short prompting and a, a chain of thought prompting, we are certainly on the right path. Okay, so in our next video, I will explain the five short prompting technique with open source large language model and show you how you can increase your model performance by using Python, large language model and the five short prompting technique. Just be with it. We'll meet in our next video. Thank guys. Thank you so much.